prosperity. It's not about luck. It happens when you've got something others want, and the more you make of it, the more you'll prosper. Sometimes you have to make it happen. Sydney Harbour was always a natural treasure, but building an icon on its shore has helped draw the world to our door. Sometimes you have to be ready to grab the opportunities, to export gold to the world, wool and meat to the Commonwealth, or coal and iron to Asia. It's an axiom of our destiny that where Australian advantage meets global opportunity, that's where prosperity is born. Wave upon wave of it. But waves can be hard to see early enough, and to position ourselves for prosperity, we have to be ready for the next one. Our current wave, mining exports, will continue growing if we meet the needs of tomorrow's customs and if our price is right. But where's the next wave coming from? Well, let's think about global growth in the Asian century and what that means for Australia's future. As Asia's middle classes get richer, they'll be looking for better housing and education, not to mention more interesting holidays. They'll want cleaner air in fast-growing cities, making natural gas our biggest growth driver for the next decade, while Australian agribusiness feeds Asia's growing appetite for fresh, trustworthy food supplies. And other plentiful natural resources, like non-arable land or seawater, make Australia the best place on the planet to grow algae for clean biofuels. Our experience with one of the world's biggest pools of retirement capital could see us become a future global leader in wealth management, while tourism and the education of foreign students will also be growth engines as Asian visitor numbers rise. We can create further benefits with integrated cross-sector strategies, like showing tourists what our universities can offer their children, or helping the families of international students to see Australia. These future super sectors could collectively match the prosperity generated by mining over the past decade and give us a more diverse and stable economic future. Other sectors like finance, manufacturing and health will offer further pockets of growth potential. A diverse English-speaking society in a land of rich resources and natural beauty has a big head start. But to position Australia for prosperity, Deloitte believes we need to rebuild our reputation as a reliable trading partner, skill up our vocational workforce, share investments in infrastructure and align the interests of government, business and communities. Throughout history, we've made the best of our opportunities. What we do next will determine Australia's prosperity and our luck for generations to come.